A happy man there, and a man who's got it all to do just walking into the ring there. Our Gundog Group Judge, Chris Bexon. Well, you can hear the ring announcer, that's uh, Graham Hill talking away there. Now, Chris Bexon, he and his wife have bred English setters and Sussex Spaniels to considerable success. Huge success with their Sussex, haven't they? Yeah, absolutely, and he's had a lot of experience. Um, they come from Nottinghamshire, from near Mansfield, I believe. He's actually, and for the past 11 years, he's been secretary of the National Gun Dog Association. Yes, yes. yes. Seriously knows these dogs. Award CCs in many of the breeds. The best of breed winners from the Gundog Group Cross 2009. Please put your hands together one more time for your judge this evening, Mr. Chris Benson. <laughs> They're so waiting the in the wings, the dogs behind the scenes, waiting to come in. The Bracco Italiano. I was going to say, most people won't know what this one is, the first one coming in. Yes, well, they will when they see it because yeah. it's spectacular. The Bracco Italiano, all the way from its native breed, Italy. And it's an Italian dog, as you say. Setter. English setter goes in, and here's an interesting one in the lineup: the, the German, German long-haired long pointer. German short-haired short comes in now. Short what we've just seen. And the German wire-haired pointer. pointer. Lovely Gordon there, the Gordon, Gordon setter. setter. Nice to see behind the scenes, Peter. Here's Isn't the it? Hungarian Vizsla. And the wire-haired version right behind it. Absolutely, and. Next, we have the Irish Red and White the Setter. Irish Red and White Setter. Big cheer coming the now. Irish Setter. Oh, it never misses, does it? Italian Spinoni, and an interesting little one, the Koikahun from Holland. The Koikahun. Large Munsterlander from Germany, and there, Ruth Martin with her pointer. Oh, dear. Chesapeake. Lady falling over in the ring there. Chesapeake Bay Retriever the waiting right patiently the there. The, the curly coated retriever coming next. The curly coated retriever. I wonder how these handlers are feeling in the wings, waiting to come oh, on. Nervous as can be. The, go the <coughs> flat coat comes on, and the golden retriever the golden looking expectantly in. Biggest entry is it today? Retriever. Labrador Mr. Retriever. Close. Big cheer there. And the nervous coach. The nervous. Here yeah, we are. North American candidate, the Nova Scotia Duck Toller, American, American Cocker Spaniel. Spaniel, the Clumber waiting here. The Columba Spaniel. And your baby, your favourite coming up next. The, the Cocker Cocker Black Cocker Spaniel, Spaniel bitch. The English Springer, English Springer comes next. There's the Field Spaniel waiting to come in now. The Field Spaniel. Irish Water Spaniel raring the to go. Irish Water Spaniel. And the Sussex Spaniel waiting. The Sussex Spaniel. Here comes the richly coloured the Welsh, Welsh Springer. Spaniel. There it goes. Spanish Water the Dog Spanish next. Water He's travelled from Spain. It is a Spanish dog. Absolutely. Absolutely. And the Van Rana. 31 and breeds have come into back. the ring. Uh, the what a task. Thank you, Jonathan. What a already So Chris Bexon will take a nice long walk along the line. He's watched them come in. Certain dogs will have caught his eye as he's seen them come in. Now he's just walking along, casting his eye over the entire group. He's very honoured to be here, judging this group here today. He's absolutely delighted to be doing it. Now, the reason for this long walk round, Peter, is that he's taking in the dog's outline and balance. Is it the right shape for the breed? So that's the first, you'd get your first view, and something might just take your eye at this point and say, I like the look of that. Uh, and uh, he'll have a close look later. Well, you've judged this group, haven't you, Frank? Yes, I have, so, I yes. Mean, you, do, do you, at this point, are you able to eliminate it? Do you look and say, mm, that's not going to do well, it? Well, you right? can't really eliminate till you've had your hands on, but you can say, mm, that appeals to me, or that's, I'm not so struck on that. But you might be surprised when you get older. Yes, yes. And yes. sometimes you're disappointed. You might like the look for something at first glance, then you put your hands on, and, oh, I'm not quite happy with the confirmation or anatomy on this one. So, there you are. But he's very sensible to take a long, slow walk and get your, get your eye in. Well, we're going over. This is the dog that you 
said uh, well, they'll, they'll all recognise it when it comes in, but I'm not sure most people will. The Bracco Italiano, we, Axel we, Del Monte Alago, he's called Axel for short, four years old, Chris Atkinson. He's come all the way from uh, Italy. Uh, sorry, Chris Atkinson was the judge that put it up here. Uh, uh, Vito Ahrens and Salvatore Tripoli have come all the way from Rome in Italy. With this yes. One. And Vito Ahrens is in the ring there. Beautiful shot of its head, that lean head with the, para the divergent head planes on, on this and this beautiful expression. They're a lean, gaunt dog, uh, quite similar to another Italian breed, the um, Italian Spinoni, but again, these are smooth coated, elastic in the skin, very gaunt and athletic, and we'll see when it moves, it should have a wonderful stride. Very interesting top line, a slight dip behind the shoulders, and there we go, that elastic gait. Was this in that little group you had with you? No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't, uh, but I, I've, seen, I've seen this dog in Italy where he's a big best in show win all oh, over yes. Europe. He won the best of breed at the World Show in Stockholm when I was there in July, a big winner. So. Uh, very it's popular. A, it is a wonderful family dog, but also it's doing very well in field trials as well, so they are working this dog. Oh, you know? The Italians do like to work their gun dogs, yes. so yeah. a very high quality specimen of the breed. So that's the Bracco Italiano. I know more about that breed now than I ever did before. The Brittany. The Brittany. It used to be called the Brittany Spaniel, but it's called the Brittany, isn't it? This. Nine, Nine years old, Mrs. Reeves, Reeves judged it. Reeves Michael and Pauline Brave and they brought it from Surrey. So it's a, not a local dog, but it's come up the M1, no doubt. He's a wonderful dog, Peter. I mean, he's been winning since he, he was an import into this country from France, where the breed is native. And he's been a wonderful dog and a great sire. I'm delighted to see him. Nine years old and still a top quality specimen. Beautiful hocks there, just right for the bone, not over bone, this breed and beautiful, clean head, bird-like expression. And they're a cobby dog, short in the back, a slight slope away to the tail set. Moderate angulation, which means they don't have the same long stride as a lot of the gun dogs. Yes. They're a brisker yeah. moving dog. I'm delighted to see him winning here at nine years of age. You won't see him again because Pauline's retiring him after this. Well, a wonderful way to go out. Take a yeah. dog out at the top. He's yeah. earned his retirement very yeah. well. Yeah. Yeah. Best of breed great, the aircraft. You can't beat you. Can great you? specimen of the breed. I'm delighted to see him. That's the Brittany. <laughs> Come Co in all the Spaniel Tired, colours, but you're quite right, Peter. They're no longer called Brittany Spaniels. They're hunt, point and retrieve dogs. Yeah. Very yeah. versatile. Yeah. Well, a lovely looking English setter here. This is show champion Wensleydale witch doctor Danny. He's a four-year-old dog. Linda Taylor comes from Nottingham with him. She's handling in the ring. Six cc's to his name. And he's a beautiful dog. Look at that clean outline. Very elegant. They're one of the most elegant breeds. We shouldn't call gun dogs glamorous, but you'd have to use that to describe the English setter. This is an orange belt in which these orange flecking in the coat. We'll see also the blue Belton, the tricolour, sometimes the rare liver Belton, but this is a lovely dog. And I can tell you also that his son won best puppy in the breed today. So oh, that's really? a wonderful yes. fact. Yeah. Look at that beautiful expression the there. The line. That's lovely. Yes. Moulding yeah. under the eyes, clean in the skull, a beautiful head. I think he's a top quality dog. I'm delighted to see him winning best and of breed. And one over an awful lot of dogs today. 232. It's a big entry, Absolutely. Isn't it? Now, one of the great things, look at that beautiful coordination on the move. Marvellous top line, the wagging tail, which is a hallmark of the setters, and a clean long stride, getting his hocks well underneath him. Beautiful dog. That's a very nice start to the group. Beautiful outline. What a picture of balance he is there. Very popular dog, the English setter with this, uh, with this group, isn't it? It has been for, for a, a long time. Now here's the German long-haired pointer, relatively new into the country, not a lot of them here, there's no challenge to zips, but beautiful parallel head planes there, equal in length in the skull and the foreface, the judge looking hard at the ears, because that's a breed feature, the ear feathering about an inch longer than the ear leather. Again, but essentially they're a functional working dog. He's looking at the shoulders. The chest, the dog has to have clean shoulders to give him scope in front when he moves. A sturdy rib cage, running his hands over the loins that they're taut and muscular. Looking at the length of tail, this is a brown roan. They also come in solid brown, trout roan, which is an interesting colour, or, some, or sometimes brown and white. Uh, but 
very versatile. This Larry Wilkes, who's handling him here, introduced the breed into the country. One of the people who introduced and is a keen working man. So this dog is very much a keen worker. I should give its name, actually. Five-year-old Bayes. Aaron is Bayes. It's uh, its full name, this bitch. And uh, as you say, Larry Wilkes handling there, owned also by Brenda Moss. And... Uh, won its first field trial award at 16 months. So yes, again, another, another good worker, isn't it? Larry yeah. works all his dogs, his GSPs, and, and the uh, German longhead pointers as well. He's a real working man. Graded excellent at Blenheim. It's, yeah, grand. Lovely to see. A lot of these here today, 164 German shorthead pointers. Show champion Barley Mark. Uh, known as Pocket, it's a bitch. Five years old, Soon Martin Harris. They live in Warrington, up in Cheshire. 46 cc's this dog's yes. one. For she's a remarkable <laughs> bitch. Oh, oh, my word. Now, this Barley Arch Kennel um, have bred a lot of champions. They're very keen. Their dogs all look the same. Very typey. Here we see this. Again, I love the... German shorted pointer because they're completely unexaggerated functional working breed. Everything just built nicely to move and to work. There we see that nice depth of chest, the good length of leg, clean parallel limbs, the tail just set below the level of the back. Again, short backed cover but covering a lot of ground through its good angulation in its hindquarters. So we'll see this stride out well I'm sure. Nothing to hide on the German shorthead pointer. No. Completely beautiful, clean movement coming towards us, carrying herself well. I think she's, she's won a lot of gundog groups, this bitch, so uh, she'll make the going tough tonight. And this is the German wirehead pointer. This is, well... This has come from Leicestershire today, but uh, it's a champion, Dutch champion, Freddy von Kappelhoff at Berev. Berev, of course, very famous name uh, to reckon with here. Uh, this judged by Patsy Hollings today. Barbara and Sharon Pinkerton own this, and uh, Sharon showing there in the ring. Winner of nine field trials awards, full champion, first ever German import full champion, which is fantastic, isn't it? Absolutely. If we've got the Kettle Club motto, fit for fur purpose, fit for function, here is a dog that's fulfilled all of these things. He's a remarkable show dog, uh, um, and also he's worked and won field trial awards, which means it's hotly, hotly um, contesting those things. Look at this beautiful, clean neckline here. The, the German wirehead pointer is a heavier version of the shorthead pointer. Mm. They're a bit longer, a bit heavier in the bone, and of course they've got this tough wire coat on top. He carries the tail differently. Well, he's, they, they carry it perhaps just a little higher than the German shorthead pointer. But this dog has a remarkable, clean, long stride, absolutely steady in the top line, and he's always in fit, muscular condition. Sharon and... Stamina is happy to work in all weathers. The name 
was first used in 1510 to describe the result of crossing the new extinct, the now extinct, indigenous Panamon hat with the yellow Turkish dog. By the 1850s today, short hair turned on to the standard. Exhibit number 12083. Now we see the Hungarian wirehead visa. This is CA Kuhn, who's the breed judge. There's a breed entry of 98 made by 80 exhibits. This is Kuhn selecting this bitch for best of breed. Exhibit number 12254. <laughs> is a truly handsome hat, point and retrieve breed. The same coat colours as the better known smooth coated beetle, which we saw earlier, of course. The wirehead beetle was developed in the 1930s, coming from the same origins as its smooth coated cousin. The breed has become more and more popular in Britain since 1991, when the breed came to, to force in here into the United Kingdom. Breed has the same stature as his cousin, the Wiesla, but with a harsh jacket. The Hungarian Wildhead Wiesla is set up with the eyebrows, which render his facial expression perhaps a trifle stern. He has the same style of behavior as a smooth coated breed. He is accepted as a good worker in the shooting world. That's the best of breed Hungarian Wildhead Wiesla. Exhibit number 12254. Mr. BPJ Greaves was the breed judge today for Irish Red and White Setters, which you see here in the ring now. It was a breed entry of 98 made by 87 exhibits, and Mr. Greaves selected this bitch for best of breed. Exhibit number 12376. Working Irish setters were originally mostly chestnut or red and white. For a time, breed was selected only for the red, and consequently the red and white setter came close to extinction. But the breed now is undergoing a revival. The breed derives from the same rootstock as the Irish setter, and may have been his predecessor. Exhibit number 12376. And now we see the best of breed Irish setter. There was a breed entry of 409 made by 356 exhibits, and so the breed had two judges. Males were judged by Mrs. Lee King, and bitches by Mrs. L. C. Dale. Jointly they selected this male as best of breed, exhibit number 12640. What's known in Gaelic simply as the Mother Groom or Red Dog, the Irish Setter was also called the Red Spaniel, sometimes the Red Setter. The Irish Setter was ranked among the most handsome of all the gun dogs. The breed is immensely popular with all manner of people. It is ideal as a centre of attraction for the Dossier Edit advertisements. His rich chestnut coat gleaming as only that of a healthy dog can. The breed gained in popularity from about the late 1800s, with the breed club being formed in 1882.
Now the second is the Mayor of Germany, Mayor Kenner. Thank you, Jenny. It's going to be a classic meeting. It's going to be a good place to live. Thank you for all of your time. I'm calling for the family to hand out. This is the Best of Green Irish Setter, exhibit number 12640. Now we see the Italian Spadoni, Mr. C. Mathai, who's the breed judge. And Mr. Mathai selected this bitch as best of breed, exhibit number 12740, from an overall entry of 196, made by 172 exhibits. The Italian Spadoni is an all purpose gun dog, which has gained in popularity since being introduced into Great Britain. It already has a fair degree of popularity with those who want a hardy worker in the field or a faithful patient companion in the house. Though the Spinoni did not achieve a championship status in Britain until 1994, it is a very old breed. Its origins are somewhat difficult to put together. It is thought that the breed was also, as a lot of blood of native hounds of Italy, mixed with that of French Griffons. calm, easy-going, and obedient breed that thrives on work, be it hunting, field trials, or chasing fancy dog dogs. Another one of the point in the three breeds from the continent is noted for his good sending ability and soft man, especially successful as a worker in rough woodland or marshes. That's the Italian Spinoni best of breed, exhibit number 12740. In one of the newer gun dog breeds, the group ring here at Crufts, the Koyka Honja. The breed was judged today by Mrs. J.P. Jill Davis. There were 22 exhibits, or 22 entries, made by 16 exhibits. And Mrs. Gill Davis has selected this bitch for her best of breed, exhibit number 12913. This is a small, compact breed which hails from the Netherlands. The breed is blessed with a spectacular coat of clear red, orange bodies and a white black background. The breed's eye catching coat is effectively used to attract swimming ducks and entice them along the streams into netting traps. The whole effect is aided and abetted by the gaily carried, well feathered tail waving aloft. Cheerful companion. It certainly enjoys human company, especially the energetic variety. That's the best of breed point of honor. Exhibit number 12913. That makes it examined by Mr. Beckton is the large monster lander. There was a breed entry of 121 made by 103 exhibits. And Mrs. C. McDonald, who was the breed judge, selected this pitcher's best of breed, exhibit number 12960. The influx of gun breeds from the continent since the early 1950s has introduced a number of multi purpose dogs to our rough shooting team. This gun box has been more strikingly handsome than this tall, black-headed, white and black body breed from Munster in Germany. The breed was first registered by the Kennel Club in 1971, but since then he has proved himself both an effective worker and a family companion. The large Munster Hunter is a biddable dog, and gives the impression that he enjoys life. Would like to enjoy it too. The last one is the center from the Morpheus German Dirt Dogs. This 
history began as the black and white color variant variation of the liver and white German long haired pointer. The breed club in the country of origin was formed in 1919. It got more and more popular outside of Germany since that date. That's the best of breed large Munchenlander, exhibit number 12960. Mr. C. Davis was the breed judge today. It's a breed entry of 264, made by 239 exhibits. Mr. Davis selected this male of the best of breed, exhibit number 13145. Although the pointer's origins are unclear, the pointer was developed wholly in Great Britain. At some stage in its development, all Spanish centered lines were probably used. The point has undoubtedly become a truly English breed over the last two or three centuries. Over that time, it has been employed by shooting men, its traditional role of indicating the presence and position of sitting game. The breed combines a distinctive elegance with a sleek muscularity, enabling it to cover great areas of ground with considerable speed. Exhibit number 13145. And now we see the Chesapeake Bay Retriever. Mr. C.A. Atkinson also judged this breed, and it was a breed entry of 68 made by 57 exhibits. And Mr. Atkinson selected this male of the best of breed, exhibit number 13302. There's no doubt whatsoever about the origins of this breed. The tale goes back to two puppies being rescued from a wrecked ship off the coast of the eastern seaboard of Maryland. They were reputed to be some two, some two centuries ago to have been Newfoundland and tight. They were discovered to be up water, so were crossed with local retriever types, probably including the curly coat. And the result was this ultimate in national waterproof dogs, the Chesapeake Bay Retriever. Like other retrievers, it is gentle with children and cordial to strangers. A loyal companion it is happiest in a country environment. <laughs> the Chesapeake Bay Retriever is basically a duck dog. It is very best in water. And the oiliness of the and thickness of the coat is so efficient that a thorough shape stores into a slightly moist field in no time at all. And that's the best of breed Chesapeake Bay Retriever, exhibit number 13302. And now we see the curly coated retriever. This is CM Betts, the breed judge, selected as a male as best of breed from an overall entry of 89, made by 76 exhibits. And this one, exhibit number is 13357. The unmistakable feature of this breed, obviously, is its coat, its body, ears and tails being covered with tight, crisp curls, while its face and muzzle are smooth haired. This coat is waterproof, and even after a swim in a quick shape, it can be practically dry. This is the oldest of British retrievers. There was evidence suggests that it existed as early as 1803. And it probably descends from the extinct English water spaniel. And lesser, the Newfoundland, which was brought to Great Britain by cod fishing. The coat seems to have come from crossing the poodles who were used to tighten the curve in the coat.
very skillful retriever. The Koenig Golden Retriever was his most popular as a shooting dog in the latter part of the 19th century. This is the best of the Curly Coated Retriever, exhibit number 13357. Now we move on to the Flat Coated Retriever. Now there are gun dogs with a very good entry of 442, made by 373 of the exhibits. And of course, there were two judges. Males were judged by Mr. R. A. Milbank, and bitches by Mr. J. M. Irvine. And this male was selected as best to breed. It's a good number 13528. The flat coated retriever is a gun dog that's his element in the countryside. One time known as the gamekeeper's dog. Attracting attention when widely used in the late 1800s on the larger states. Sir Evelyn Shirley, who was a founder of the Camel Club and its chairman from 1873 to 1899 helped stabilize the breed type. The flat coated retriever is a tireless worker in the field, an excellent water dog and a natural swimmer. here at Crafts 2009, an entry of 642, made by 541 exhibits. We obviously had two judges. Males were judged by Mr. S. M. Almy and bitches by Mr. J. H. Richardson. And look, the best of breed was selected with this male. So that was 14084. Records reveal that this gentle breed was developed in the late 1800s by crossing a light coloured flat coated retriever with a now extinct tweed water spaniel. The first goalies were exhibited in 1908. The golden retriever is one of the most popular dogs in the world. necessitated two judges, males by Mrs. M. P. Gill and bitches by Mr. G. Howells. And jointly they selected this male as best to breed exhibit number 14327. I think the Labrador is one of the best all-round dogs in the world. As with the Golden, it's not only used for retrieving game, he's also made his mark in the world of guide dogs, and as a sniffer of dog, of course, for drugs and explosive detection. thought that the Labrador originated on the coast of Greenland, where fishermen were seen to use dogs of similar appearance to retrieve fish. Actually, the Labrador is not a very old breed, a breed club having been formed in 1916, with the Yellow Labrador Club being founded in 1925. Originally introduced to these shores in the late 1800s by Colonel Peter Borker and the 
girl at Malmesbury. That's the Festival Labrador Retriever, exhibit number 14327. Move to the Nova Scotia Dock Tolling Retriever. There was a breed entry of 114 made by 118 exhibits. And the breed was judged by Mrs. Ken Edridge. And she selected this male hitter to breed. Exhibit number 14327. I'm sure you can see from the name that Canada is the country of origin of this breed. It's known affectionately as the Toller. He arrived in Britain as recently as 1998. Has made steady progress in popularity ever since. The word tolling comes from the old English word tolling, that is to entice. The breed has a strange method of work. His task is to use his waving white tip tail to lure waterfowl to within range of the gutter. And of course, retrieve them, especially from the water. Nova Scotia Duck Tolling Retriever, exhibit number 14327. And next briefly seen by Mr. Bexon is the American Cocker Spaniel. Mr. H. Brace was the breed judge. It was a breed entry of 150 made by 131 exhibits. And Mr. Brace selected this bitch's best to breed, exhibit number 15057. Legend has it that the first spaniel arrived in the United States in 1620 with the pilgrims on the Mayflower. Originally, all spaniels were classified together, but eventually, the American cocker was bred for desired traits. And in 1946, it was recognized as a separate breed. Spaniel, as his name implies, hails from America. It has been derived in the last century in America from the Cocker Spaniel, ostensibly to retrieve quail. He has striking differences from his English forebear, the most distinctive being his skull shape and profuse coat. Exhibit number 15177. Club of Spaniel is said to have come in the first place from France over 200 years ago. The breed was brought to Britain by the Duke of Newcastle and bred at his family home in Clumber, Clumber Park in Nottinghamshire. Just looking at him, it's obvious he's a substantial dog. He's the heaviest of the Spaniel breeds. His pace of work is more leisurely than the other spaniels. He's blessed with the endurance and has the strength to get to places and do things that other lighter, lighter spaniels cannot. Breed. It's a delightful breed, it's happily 
attached to family life. It's a very, very good work out in the field. That's the Clumber Spaniel, that's the breed exhibit number 15177. sometimes known as the Mary Cocker. It is the most popular of the Spaniel family. An active, happy, intelligent and affectionate dog. And one that quickly adapts himself to his surroundings. He originated as the Cotton Spaniel and derived his name from Flushing Woodcock. The breed has a great retrieving instinct. Often employs his retrieving instincts around the family house. Found with a toy or slip in his mouth, his tail wagging, furiously waiting for praise. <laughs> the Cocker Spaniel was recognised as a second breed from the field and Springer Spaniels soon after the formation of the Kennel Club in 1873. That's the best of breed Cocker Spaniel, exhibit number 15406. Springer Spaniel. There was an overall breed entry of 210 made by 182 exhibits, and the breed was judged by Mrs. J.P. Wood. Mrs. Wood selected this male for best breed, exhibit number 15614. The English Springer Spaniel is the traditional dog for the rough shooter. A dog capable of working tirelessly all day, and ready to enter water even in the coldest of days. The main stringer is to ride for the use of this type of spaniel, to start with the bird into the air so they spring upwards. The English stringer spaniel is a cheerful, extrovert nature, which is the deal of something general public. Exhibit number 15614. Mr. T.R. Plaskill was the judge for field spaniels today. And there was a green entry of 67 made by 55 exhibits. And Mr. Plaskill selected this bitch for best of breed. Exhibit number 15829. Field spaniel is a product of crossing the one time Sussex Spring Springer and the Potter Spaniel. This was in the late 19th century. It is interesting to note that the very definite statement which the breed, devote, breed do, devotees have written into the breed standard to the effect that it's not suitable for the city. Very much a country dog. It's not a popular breed in by modern traits, but it makes a good companion for country dwellers. This was restored in 1969, following determined efforts by breeders to maintain the breed. It's the best of breed field spaniel, exhibit number 15829. And the next of our spaniel variety to be seen is the Irish water spaniel. This is 
pair. Gordon was, Gordon was a breed judge. It was a breed entry of 46 paid by 41 exhibits. And this is Gordon selected this male to best breed, exhibit number 15911. This is the tallest of all the Spaniels. The Irish Water Spaniel is a breed of great antiquity. And it's something of a contradiction. Although in Britain he's shown as a Spaniel, he works in the penal trials as a retriever. He delights in water, and is an admirable and enthusiastic retriever. A breed of great intelligence, which is thought to be derived from the poodle, which has obviously played a significant part in his ancestry. Spaniel was a breed that attracted great attention, exhibited at the Birmingham in 
to the best degree of offspring and spaniel, 16074. And now we move to another new breed to this group of here at Druffs, the Spanish Water Dog. Mr. J. Horsmore was the breed judge, and the breed entry of 78 made by 60, 65 exhibits. Mr. Horsmore selected this male as best of breed, exhibit number 16155. Established but still relatively rare in his homeland of Spain. He was first seen in the show ring in his home country in the 1970s. He's a multi purpose dog with many functions, which include working as a water dog and herding sheep. Here in the United Kingdom, he has been allocated to the gun dog group because of the enthusiasm. Spanish Water Dog, exhibit number 16155. And now the final, final breed to be seen by Mr. Bexon here at the Gun Dog Group is the Vineral. There's a breed entry of 245 made by the 201 exhibits. And the breed was shown today by Mr. R. A. F. Ford. Mr. Ford selected his male for best breed, exhibit number 16248. The is another of the multi purpose hunt point and retrieve dogs, coming into Britain from the continent. The breed hails from Germany, where it takes its name from the German court of Weimar, where it found much favour. Interestingly enough, there is a, a Van Dyke painting of the dog. Wine on site dated around about the early 1600s. The breed's striking feature and his great coloration and his light eyes. The 
is Damon Gary Guzda. So the winner of the Gundog Group, Press 2009, is the Hungarian Wiesler, exhibit number 12083. The representative of the Gundog Group will go forward to take one of its best in show today. Gundog Group 2, the Weimarer, exhibit number 16248. Gundog Group 3, the English Springer Spaniel, 15614. And in fourth place in the Gundog Group 4, the German Wirehead Pointer, exhibit number 11829. So Peter Travis, I think, is going to go out into the ring and do a short interview with our winner. Yes, Mr. Davis goes out of the ring. Well, well, who's handling today? The owners are going to be absolutely delighted. Yeah. 55 cc's. I mean, it's, uh, is this the biggest? Yeah, I think so, yes. It's been very stressful today. A long day. Fantastic performance. Young Yogi just looks fantastic. Enjoyed yourself? Great to have you here. Congratulations to all for getting here. Very well done. The winner of the group, ladies and gentlemen, is Yogi. You can ask the winner to do a lot of honour, please, so again, you can show your appreciation to the winner of the Gundog Group, Class 2009, the Hungarian Visa, 12083.